Special relativity is a theoretical framework that describes the behavior of mechanical systems at speeds similar to that of light. Because classical machines fail to explain phenomenon that occurs when physical reference frames approach the speed of light. More generally, special relativity also provides a modern viewpoint for exploring the relation between space and time. In the late 19th century, it has been discovered that the speed of light is the same for all observers in different frames of reference, regardless of the different velocities. This is just like seeing a baseball always flying in the air quicker than you are, regardless of how fast you run to catch the ball. To resolve this odd situation, Albert Einstein, along with some other contemporary scientists, formulated the theory of special relativity. The theory of relativity is a shocking creation that changed the face of physics when published in 1905, and is still confusing to many today. To put things simply, the theory of special relativity was formed based on three fundamental statements. The laws of physics are identical on all inertial reference frames. The speed of light is agreed by all observers in different reference frames. The first statement could easily be understood, as it basically just means that playing ping pong on a smooth paced train isn't much different from playing it on hard ground. The second statement is more like unreachable baseball as described earlier, which just seems like magic. The theory of special relativity used a hardly comprehensible explanation to explain this hardly comprehensible relativistic phenomenon. Time slows down for observers as they approach the speed of light, while length on the dimension of motion also contracts. Moreover, as an object with mass approaches the speed of light, it also gains relativistic mass. Lorentz factor is used to describe the changes in time dilation, length contraction, and relativistic mass, the derivation of which will not be shown in this video. Anyways, this whole time dilation, length contraction, and relativistic mass increase all seems confusing, but these phenomena are all, in fact, confirmed by observation. Special relativity itself hasn't found much a place for practical usage. A lot of the time, relativistic effects are too minor and ignored. Only in the most precise measurements of space and time, such as GPS systems, are relativistic effects considered. Astrophysicists use special relativity in exploring objects moving quickly through space, mostly cosmic particles from the solar wind bombarding the atmosphere. Though special relativity found little usage, its sequel theory had had significant impacts on the development of astrophysics. In 1915, ten years after its formulation, Einstein's theory of general relativity was published, which incorporates most concepts like gravity into the theoretical framework of special relativity. General relativity is key in the study of black holes, neutron stars, supernovae, etc., making it one of the founding bases of modern astronomy. Therefore, special relativity is important in a sense. The link for the calculator in the description uses the Lorentz factor to calculate the time dilation, length contraction, and relativistic mass of an object when it approaches a certain velocity, either as in terms of meters per second or as a fraction of the speed of light.